at strong safety from McNeese State, number 46, Leonard Smith. I was supposed to have been going to LSU, um, hurt my leg, and at that point, wasn't sure was it going to even play ball. He knew he was a player. It's kind of one of those things where you, when you mark him on the board in our recruiting room, I, I kind of remember, he's an athlete. And an athlete he was, having been recognized as a standout defensive player in the 1980s. Well, what Leonard had was what, what they've been looking for for years, and that's a guy that's a, that's a strong safety, but can go to corner and go to free safety and go to a weak side linebacker because the people, the pros uh, motion so much and they get, uh, they get, they get mismatches. And there was no place that Leonard got in his assignment that it was a mismatch. He could run with the uh, good wide receivers. He could run with the slot receivers. He just played all those positions. Timing throw. Elway tipped ball. Intercepted. The ball's picked off by Leonard Smith. He's going to go in, and Buffalo takes the lead. But it wasn't just Leonard's NFL career that marked him as a force to be reckoned with. Leonard recalls his appearance at back-to-back -back Independence Bowls in 1979 and 1980. Great opportunity to get to um, the Independence Bowl, the bowl that we were set for. Um, play with a lot of great guys, great friends, Buford Jordan, Stephen Starn, um, you name them, man. We enjoyed ourselves. Collier on the pitch to Woodard, inside the five. And he is driven out of there. Out of bounds, they mark the football inside the five and around the two-yard line. I think my biggest accomplishment on the field was enjoying the game and playing it to the highest ability that I could. Now, I was scared of him because I coached the defensive backs, and our defensive backs did not like him. We'd run these, what they call a skeleton drill, and I'd look over there at our receivers, and a guy would keep, he would keep, the, the line kept switching, and all of a sudden, I see this guy to go back in the line, this guy go to, and I didn't understand that. And I, you know, I just thought, didn't think, but I finally found out it was because they did not want to be in front of Leonard Smith when he was playing man-to-man -man and when he was up in your face. It was that in-your-face drive that scored Leonard a career 17 blocked kicks, a current Southland Conference record. The game is made to be physical. You're supposed to be physical. Um, defense, you're supposed to give the offense the ball back as many times as you can. So my thing was, if you had the ball, some kind of way I was going to try to separate you from the ball. Leonard's career at McNeese and his success in the NFL have culminated into his induction in the 2015 Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame, and his jersey number has been retired. It's a career that has brought the best of the best to McNeese sports, both on and off the field. For Leonard, it's a career with no regrets. I can't say any regrets. We'll never say any regrets because coming out of McNeese, making history being the first round pick, making history now going into the College Hall of Fame, what regrets can I have?